Coyote Show. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Hey, all. So, uh, we had that story at the uh, the Redneck News Lady. What you got to see the mug shots on our Instagram. Oh, my Instagram. God. You got to take a look immediately. Instagram Instagram story. Story. At the Woody yeah. Show. You can see it there. She set uh, a fire on some random stranger's porch. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's another story in the news. His landlord in Pennsylvania angry at a tenant for destroying a washer and dryer, so he set their apartment on fire. Oh. Along with the uh, fire department, the cops were called, and he was arrested, taken to jail. Nice. Like, his, his set this plate. big cardboard uh, box on fire. I was so mad at them. Oh, no. To set a cardboard box on fire. Oh, good. Like, All right. It's like, it's your place, dummy. Wow. Right. You own it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm mad at you. Oh, people are idiots. I mean, I've heard of the reverse. Tenants yeah. destroying a place. Oh, yeah. 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 But landlords destroying their own place? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's your place, man. I'm sure they're going to try and collect insurance. Yeah. That was the plan. What are the uh, oh, trending God. news headlines, Greg Gorey? Well, the L.A. home and the Miami home of Diddy got raided yesterday by Homeland Security. What a uh, crazy story. Yeah. The raids are over the allegations of sex trafficking, and at least two of Diddy's sons were detained outside the house that's in L.A. Uh, the investigation is being handled by Homeland Security. Tied to a couple of lawsuits, one that accuses Diddy of sex trafficking, another one deals with sex with minors. And TMZ reported that Diddy's private jet is currently on the ground in Antigua, but no word of Diddy is there with it. Apparently, at the time of these raids, I think he was in Miami. Yeah, they, yeah. they were. They, somebody photographed him uh, outside of the airport in Miami. Yeah. So maybe he took off to Antigua? I or no, his jet went there. His at least. jet, at least, yeah. So yeah. both those houses got raided. And they say that the people that are prosecuting them have like a 98% conviction rate. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. wonder what the hey, result will be. Look, if it means uh, somehow that uh, this all comes to be true, mm. I think the silver lining of the whole situation really will be that we'll never have to hear this song again. The night they took my friend. Black it out, but it oh my God! You hate it? This is right up there with uh, Rob San, Rob, Rob Thomas, and Santana. Smooth. Yeah. Really? Oh my God! We get it. You miss Biggie. <laughs> we are getting yeah. it. So if, if it means we never have to hear that song again, yeah. because everybody's gonna completely abandon all. Uh, hey, he'll be canceled. Whoa. Diddy, right, Pup right. Daddy, whatever he's going by today. Right. So it, that that would be a silver lining. If you're looking for <laughs> positive spin, we Ray, get it. You miss Biggie. We get it. I don't know if this ever happens to you, Ravy, but when you uh, smoke marijuana and you have like super like clarity, you don't like you know you don't have like a ton of thoughts happening in your head. Mm-hmm. And I was sending some to some Puff Daddy while I was high, and I go. Oh, he's actually a really terrible rapper. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. yeah. You, like, listen you to needed the high clarity for that? <laughs> yeah, because you're not, you're, not, you're not distracted by anybody that's, like, you know, dancing along. You're like, Couple oh, decent that it's good. By the shiny things yeah, that was in sh- every video. Yeah, all the yeah. videos, all the stuff. You're just sitting there and you actually listen. Yeah, but a couple decent and, songs. Yeah. Mo listen. Money, Mo Problems. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a great song. But then if you just, like. Yeah, just focus. <laughs> or is that technically is that technically That's a, a Biggie, song. Biggie song? Yeah, How, is it? Yeah. Which one? Mo money, more problems. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure who's. Yeah, a, who, it yeah. says song by no, Notorious B.I.G. I think yeah, I was getting confused with the, all about the Benjamins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Well, good. So good. We still get Mo money, more problems. We can <laughs> we can lose that. I'll be missing you, crap. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good. And, yeah. I know you love conspiracy theories, man. I had yep. heard this one, I don't know, six months ago or whatever, and uh, somebody was saying about how uh, there's there's a conspiracy theory out there that Puffy is the one responsible for Michael Jackson's death. What? Because, How's that link? Because Diddy was the one who was really involved in all this like child sex stuff, mm-hmm. and Michael... There was knew about it or whatever, and so as Michael was being, you know, dragged for all this stuff, he was about to bring Diddy. Really? Into, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't Look it know. up. There, there, there's some crazy that's, conspiracy that's, theory okay. about how and because about like all I these bodies are piling them, up, like to get like hanging out together. Yeah, but they all no. But I mean, it's like yeah. the it's like the petty circle. You know what I mean? <laughs> like there's like all these uh, bodies piling up between Tupac and Biggie, Michael yeah. Jackson, and whatever, and they're trying to tie you know Diddy into all of it. Well, yeah, they've been trying to tie in Diddy into the murders for a long time. Right. What's the deal? Allegedly. You might know about this. I posted one picture 
uh, mm. with Garth Brooks, which I, my parents found. It's some old picture, and they go, where's the bodies, Garth? Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> what is that about? Oh, that's the big conspiracy. I don't know if I've ever heard it's that. It's a murder, yeah. too? Well, you, you know who really put it on the forefront was our uh, buddy Tom Segura. Tom Segura talks about it, where... I mean, Sammy, it's, I mean, you can explain It's the it. people dying in the cities that he's in when he's touring. Okay. So there's, like, conspiracy theories that there's murders happening when he's in the city only for, like, a night or whatever. Okay. And then he leaves, so that's why nothing's getting linked to him because he's nowhere for long periods of time. And that yeah, yeah. he's murdering around as he's touring. It's pretty oh crazy. Oh, my God. How dumb. Aren't there it's a wild in, conspiracy theory. Aren't there murders in every city, uh, like, on a daily yeah, basis? But they say that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I was wondering, I'm like, what is that about? Like, they, people kept saying, like, where are the bodies, Garth? Uh, yeah. But that it tends to happen extra, when... extra... <laughs> extra? When it's Garth extra murdery when he's in town. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. And he... Oh, man. I guess anytime you mention it, he loses it. Because it's yeah. like... I'm been, sure. Yeah. Because it's been going... <laughs> It's been going on for a couple of years now. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> that he's the biggest serial killer in history. Right. Wow. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Okay. Yeah. Allegedly. He, he has all that alone time before yeah. a show. Yeah, I was wondering How what the funny. hell that was about. <laughs> uh, Shohei Otani addressed the media yesterday, says he never bet on baseball, never asked anybody to do it for him. Uh, it was the first time he spoke in public about the allegations of illegal gambling and theft involving his former interpreter, Ipe Mitsuhara. Uh, through his new interpreter, Shohei said that uh, uh, he's sad that somebody close to him would be accused of theft and illegal betting, and he called Ipe a liar after he claimed that Shohei knew that he was paying off his gambling debts with Shohei's money. Uh, so Ipe's still under federal investigation, of oh. course. The internet so. doesn't buy it. I saw yeah. 100,000 times yesterday that, like Bill Clinton, I did not. Uh, I know. Right. All in relation to this. Yeah, right. Well, because the story... like, nobody buys it. Well, who's got a lot to lose? Yeah. He does. Oh, he does. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's like uh, Shawshank. Hey, man, why are you in? Didn't do it. Yeah. Lawyer after me. Like, of course you're going to, you know. In my mind, as a potential. Deny it. I would think, why would you get involved with that? You well, got it you're made in the shade. gambling. I guess so. Like, Ravy. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Keep if, your but, hand on your wallet, but right? You're sitting right next to her. Present this squeaky clean image, mm -hmm. so your minions have to do your bidding. And I fall Always for the it. fall you guy, and it. I'm falling for it. So but I think I believe show him. But this fall guy realizes, oh wait, this is a lot of time, potentially, potentially ten years, right? Yeah, but that's like per transaction, allegedly. Oh, per trans? Yeah, really? and there's been there was multiple, so yeah. Interesting. Screwed. Interesting. Uh, there's also some video that surfaced that shows Russian forces torturing a couple of suspects in that Moscow concert hall attack. Oh, I kind of love it. You know why? Because they pulled the old car battery on the nuts trick. They did. Yeah, did you see the picture? I did. So one yeah. of the guys is on the floor. He's getting electric shocks right to his genitals. Right the nads. And the other one is shown with this huge bandage on his ear. It doesn't even look like a bandage because he was allegedly forced to eat his own ear. Oh, wow. By Russian forces. See, now that's the way to do it. When you get these guys who ah. have come in and they've murdered a bunch of your people, these terrorists or whatever, I don't care, but they talk about, oh, Guantanamo, they were, you know, uh, harsh, music. Yeah, harsh right. interrogation. Well, I don't care. So we mentioned so what? that ISIS-K took responsibility for that attack. Right. The thing I do worry about is a handful of U.S. senators say they're now worried that the terror group would be targeting us next, okay, well, if which we, is always a concern. Of course. Sure. And if we catch them, we make them eat their ear. Right. You know, and uh, we hook up their nuts to a car battery. I saw the photos and the video, and I thought the exact same thing, Woody. Yeah. I thought, okay, poor thing. Yeah. Poor, they said, one guy was taken to court, and he was so bruised and scraped up, and he and? was too injured and could barely was, breathe. He's there lucky he's even in court. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't even look alive that they brought it into court. Right. Yeah. yeah. They, I, they were going around point blank just shooting people right. randomly. I had yeah. no so sympathy. I have zero, yeah. Yeah, zero yeah. sympathy who, who for that. Who has guys. sympathy for that? Who cares? There are people out there. Um, for the second time, the Carnival cruise ship called Freedom caught fire. Oh, so no. Freedom? What's going on? It caught fire a couple years a ago. Cruise. And, and then just a couple high. days ago, the ship's exhaust funnel caught fire. It was just pouring smoke out. This was uh, 20 miles off the coast of the Bahamas, heading to Freeport at the time. And everybody... Yes was speculating that the cruise would be canceled after this latest fire, but it did arrive and Freeport is scheduled. And then Carnival says they don't expect any impact on the next voyage of hmm. Carnival Freedom. Yeah, just throw some new paint on it. It's yeah. good. <laughs> ben, is, were you talking about like there was some cruise ship that got struck by lightning? or No. I walked in here the other day and somebody was talking, talking about Talking about that. a cruise ship being struck by No. Yeah. I know I was driving and I saw some lightning just hmm. recently. 
and it just like where did I hear that? I don't know. I know. You I did know. hear me talk about the lightning thing though. I was driving and then like There's on no the side storm. of the highway, the lightning like I, I could see it and then like within ten seconds the cars just start shaking because it was so yeah. close. Somebody Google real quick. Cruise lightning. ship struck by lightning. I'm sure they get struck by lightning all the yeah. time. I feel like I just heard one yesterday or the day before. Yeah. I haven't heard that. Cruise ship struck by lightning. Anyway. Anything come up? They say that this carnival fire was a possible lightning strike. Maybe oh. that's where I heard it. See? Maybe it's this that's actual why I'm associating ship. It with this. They're trying to figure yeah. out why the carnival ship caught fire. Thank God. All I want to know is I'm not nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know I heard that. <laughs> so I can't no. remember where you hear Wait, something. Wait, was it a cruise ship or was it menace seeing some lightning? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been either one. <laughs> Could have been either one. Yeah, that was the other day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, for the first time ever, lastly, uh, Trader Joe's has jacked up the prices of bananas. Oh, what? Yeah. That's bananas. I know. They're not 19 cents anymore. They're now 23 cents. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And Trader Joe's says they only change their prices when their costs change. And after having bananas at 19 cents for the past 20 years, they've reached a point where Your banana cost has not changed in that long? I know. How is that even possible? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I don't really necessarily believe your whole thing about when our costs change. Right. Yours will. Right. There's this, uh, I bet Sammy would find it adorable. The reason that Trader Joe's sells bananas individually uh-huh. is because the CEO was once at one of the Trader Joe's locations, saw this little old lady. She was examining bananas in a bag for a long time and then put them back in her cart and went to the register to buy the, whatever she was buying in her cart. Right. CEO went up to her and said, I noticed you were examining all these bananas, but you didn't buy them. Why? And she was so old. She said, I don't know if I'm going to live to see that fourth banana. <laughs> Dead bitch. <laughs> wow. So, oh, apparently, so from that day forward, he said, we should sell them individually. That wow. is a nice thought. I that appreciate that. That's a cute. Isn't that cute? That's cute. <laughs> right. More Woody Shows next. 